Hey, it's Samantha. I'm editing this video and I realized it's from early January. So if things don't add up with like the timeline, it's because this is from a long time ago. Also, a lot of the clips are kind of blurry. I thought you still might want to see this video, so I'm still going to put it out. Um, but sorry for it being late and sorry for some of the clips being blurry. Hello, it's 9.22 a.m. And my daughter just woke up. Um, she sleeps next to me. Getting her in and out of bed in the middle of the night was really hard. So, I, so um, we just had her in bed next to us. And um, that's what she's used to currently. And oh my goodness. Probably um, now, since we're getting into the new year, we're gonna work on getting her back into her own bed. My back is a lot better now, so I feel like I um, can handle working on that with her. Oh my gosh. But yeah, there was like a point when I like wasn't able to get her in and out of a crib. So um, this was just the easiest option. And now I have a cue here. Okay, but today I wanted to do a little um, day in my life how I, um, handle watching my one-year-old oh, she's 12 months like probably like 12 and a half months right now at the time of filming this how i handle her while i'm like still a little bit recovering from back surgery and i'm so much better now than i used to be so i'll kind of explain what i used to have to do and um um what i'm able to do now and the limitations that i still have Okay, the baby's told me that she wants to let the sun shine in. Shine. 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 Okay, so we're gonna go let the sun shine in. I'm not in the sunshine. Shine. I'm not in the sunshine. It's sunny today, isn't it? Up. Up? You wanna come up? Come on over. Yeah, come on over. I'll get you up. Yeah, I heard you. Come on. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so today is just going to be a pajama day. And that happens very frequently in this house. I'm probably going to stay in my pajamas. She's probably going to stay in her pajamas. And we're not going to leave the house. Driving is still really hard for me. So I really only drive and go somewhere if I really need to get something done. Um, and if it's only like... 20 minutes away or so. Yeah, so I can carry her now by myself before I used to not really be able to carry her. And um, so I always had to have somebody with me when I was with her basically because you can't really look after a baby without being able to pick her up, um, which kind of was awful because I could never like be alone with her for like more than 30 minutes or something. Um. And then, you know, I started being able to hold her a lot more, but I just wouldn't um, if I didn't need to. It really helped me out that she started walking around 11 months uh, because that meant that I didn't have to carry her as much. And around 10 months, um, she was taking steps, like a few steps unassisted, and she was really good at like holding on the walls and walking and crawling. So around 10 months is when I started being able to, to watch her and I would just kind of like, um, walk and tell her to follow me. Um, I would pick her up when I needed to. Obviously, whenever we'd go up and down the stairs, I needed to pick her up. Um, but yeah, uh, she was a very, she was a very good listener sometimes. <laughs> um, so it was easy to tell her, okay, we're going into your room now. And oh, we're gonna go into the bathroom now. And that's what I used to do. Now it's way easier to pick her up. And she's recently learned the word up, probably like just before her first birthday. And she uses it all the time now. <laughs> Part of our routine is I usually get ready while she's playing in the cabinets. Um, she has these bath toys over here that she likes to pick up and play with. But she loves, she loves these toothbrushes. She loves to get them out of those, that cabinet. There's one more in there. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, this is my anastrozole that I have to take. Um, I take it in the morning 
I haven't started my targeted therapy yet. Um, when I do, then I'll take that too. Should we go into your room and get a new diaper? Huh? You wanna huh? go into your room? Huh? Yes, let's go. Huh? Let's go. This is my daughter's room. I love her room. This rainbow was here from the previous owners and it matches her pink, like, her curtains and it's just it's great um, chair and this is her bookshelf here's lovely Ella fantastic here's some of her toys um, love every is amazing if you haven't heard of them I have talked about them many times so you haven't been paying attention no, I'm just kidding you made it you made it to your room are you ready for a new diaper would you like to hold a bunny? No. Oh, that's so sad. The bunny probably loves you. Oh, you still have him. Good. Okay, don't touch. Don't touch with your fingers. That's yuck. Yeah, that's yuck. You're right. And we're not putting on clothes. We're just gonna stay in pajamas today. Wanna get down and play? Oh, there you go. You're free. I just changed around the changing table, but I used to not do that. I would just take this pad off and then throw it on the ground. And then um, I would ask her to get on top of it and then I would change her diaper. Um, which was a solution, but it was harder in some ways and easier in other ways. Like right now, that is harder to me than putting her on the changing cable. Um, so I don't do it anymore because it's harder for me to lean over on the floor and change her diaper like that. But the reason that I did it that way was because I was too afraid of putting her on top of the changing table and her like wiggling and trying to roll off and me not being able to grab her fast enough and catch her if she started to fall. I didn't want her to fall off basically. And I wasn't confident in my skills to um, hold her while she's like wiggling or falling. So that's why we always did it on the floor. Um, and also lifting her onto the changing table was hard. Um, now that's a lot easier for me once I'm like holding her and getting her off the ground. Okay, what did you bring me? A book? The mitten? From your friend Jan Brett? Her routine is we play in her room for a little while until she starts to get hungry and then I go downstairs and make her breakfast. We read lots of books, basically like all day long. I have them all memorized. <laughs> You want this one now? Okay. Eddie the Ermin. Okay, so this is the aftermath of playing. It's actually not that much. Sometimes she like gets every single thing out of here and like all these toys and takes all the animals off her bed. But she's been mostly wanting books today, so that's what we've been doing. Um, it's 11 o'clock almost, I think like 10.55. So we're gonna go downstairs and get some breakfast. Okay, I'll try to show you how I get her up. something usually like there's a chair right here and then I, I have a lot it's a lot easier for me so I don't have to bend because bending my back is like the worst thing that I can do so um, I try not to do that okay downstairs um, I usually put her over here to play with her downstairs toys she loves eggs it's her favorite thing so I make her an egg every morning usually I put cheese in it but Somebody used up all the cheese. So 
so she doesn't have cheese and it's very sad, but she actually still eats them, which she sometimes doesn't. We'll see if she eats them, I guess, because sometimes she doesn't eat them if there's no cheese in them. And we put it on low because our stove is like ridiculously hot. What's up with you? And while that's going, I usually like do a little bit of dishes or I go make sure she's still okay, but she's right here in the kitchen with me so I can see her. <laughs> Sitting on the floor reading a book. So. And then I let those cool, cut them up into pieces so she can pick them up. When my husband does this, it looks so much prettier than when I do it. Are they yummy? They yum yum yum? Mmm. Oh. Make sure you chew. <laughs> You're an egg machine. Would you like water? Yeah. There you go. And then while she's eating, I'll usually clean this up and then if, they're dish if the dishwasher needs to be unloaded, then I'll unload the dishwasher. Also, the task of unloading the dishwasher is another thing that I would not have done when I first started um, with my back really hurting. That's just something that I would have left for my, for my husband to do because bending over and picking things up out of the dishwasher is hard. And I still try not to bend over much. And as you can see, I use my leg when I can. When I bend over, I don't really bend. I really kind of just squat and then place, place things in. The squirrel's outside. The squirrel. Would move your high chair so you can see the squirrel? Yeah. You see it? You see the squirrel? So I'm gonna eat this banana and see if she wants any. I'm trying to get her to like bananas, but she hates bananas. And she always gives it a solid effort too. It's like, she always is like, okay, mom, like I'll try it. And then she tries it. And then like, she's always just like, no, this is disgusting. Oh, there's a tweet tweet bird out there. Do you see the birdie? <laughs> tweet tweet. Oh, there's another one. Like extremely nauseous lately. Um, so I've been careful with what I'm eating. Um, I feel like a banana is safe and it's not like heavy on your stomach. I had like a stomach virus, I think, because she threw up one day and then two days later I threw up and I never throw up unless I, like, I'm actually sick with something. Um, so I think I had like a stomach virus, but now it's been like a long time and I'm still kind of nauseous. So I don't know, maybe it has to do with the medicine. I have no idea, but I'm hoping it's just still the stomach virus and that's gonna go away and that this medicine does not cause nausea. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. There you go. Perfect. Would you guys like to see him chomping on the corn? This is the aftermath. She threw all these puffs on the floor. Guess she didn't want them. And now I can show you the most convenient feature. These are my husband's shoes. The, my, the most convenient feature of my house. Why don't you go in the other room? Stay awake because I know you don't like the sound. There's a thing under the kitchen counter here that sucks. And I just have to open it and then I can sweep the mess into it. And then it's, it's done. And, and that's it. I can I can do it with my feet, and so then I don't have to, you know, bend over and use the dustpan. I can just sweep it straight in there. Isn't that fantastic? And so then we um, just play down here. Usually, I try to limit limit going up and down the stairs. So I stay down here unless we need to go upstairs for some reason, which is usually just she. Um, 
needs a new diaper. Um, until nap time, then I take her upstairs and she sleeps in her bed upstairs. But I try to limit picking her up and putting her back down as much as possible because I'm really not supposed to be doing a lot of lifting. I can carry her, like carrying her is fine, but like lifting up and down is not something I'm really supposed to be doing. So I try to limit that as much as I can. But we're, we're getting there. We're like, so my surgery was in August and it's January. So I can do so much more than I used to be able to do. I used to not even put her in her crib to sleep or her toddler bed to sleep. I would just um, put her next to me in the bed and I would like lay with her while she napped and I would sometimes take a nap too because it was easier to get into my bed with her than it was to get to put her down into the toddler bed and, and all of that so that's what we used to do a a <laughs> you're so silly <laughs> you're so silly oh you're spitting everywhere <laughs> okay i'm gonna get off so we can play okay it's a little after two there's the aftermath of playing. She also, she also today figured out how to get into the ball pit by herself and then tried to get out and knocked all of the balls. I don't know if this camera's focused. Then she knocked all the balls out of the ball pit after. Okay, um, but yeah, it's a lot after two. I think she's getting a little tired. So we're probably gonna go up, get a new diaper, and take a nap. She fell asleep around 3.10, 3.15 or so. The only thing that worked was um, I, I took her with me in the rocking chair and we listened to, she really likes Beethoven's Sixth Symphony. Um, and there's like this one YouTube video that she watches on my phone because she really likes to watch the conductor conduct. So it's literally just an orchestra playing Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, and the conductor conducts, and she watches that sometimes to fall asleep. I don't usually have to do that, but I don't know what's going on today. Um, normally I can put her in her bed and she'll fall asleep, and sometimes she might need a little bit of help, or sometimes she gets up and plays for a second and goes back to sleep, but I don't know. She's getting two bottom molars, which is weird because she only has two front bottom teeth. She doesn't have these two yet. And she's getting molars like way farther back. Um, so that might be causing her some problems. And she's never been a very good independent sleeper, but she hasn't really ever had the chance to be because my back started hurting when she was like four months old. So we've been very inconsistent with getting her to sleep in her own bed because we always end up bringing her in here because I can't take her in and out of the crib and go in because it just hurts my back too much um, to do that. And so, yeah. So um, that's why if you saw her bed in there, it was a, it's like we already converted her crib to a toddler bed because there's, no point in having her bed be a crib because I can't put her in it. My husband could, but like, he's not going to be the one that is here all the time with her during the day, so it doesn't even make any sense to have it as a crib. 
Um, so we made it a toddler bed because she can get in and out of it and I can get her into the toddler bed a lot easier. And basically it's been like that since she was like 10 months old, which is like early, I know, and it's weird. And she wasn't even walking yet when we did that, but there was literally no point. And she was sleeping in our bed at night. And the only time she sleeps in that bed currently is for naps. But I'm now confident in her abilities to get in and out of it. So I now feel more comfortable leaving her in it at night. We just haven't um, tried that yet because we have some trips coming up in January. So I just want to wait until those trips are over and then we'll probably try to get her in her bed um, full time like during the night too. But yeah, so that was another tip that I was going to say is maybe try a floor bed or a toddler bed if you're like dealing with something like this. Like if you can't lift your baby very well, um, she actually does really well with it. I wouldn't have even thought of doing that if this wasn't the reality that we're living right now. <laughs> Um, but it works well and yeah, we do what we have to do. I am feeling not very good. I'm feeling nauseous. Um, I don't know what, I, I don't know what's going on, but I know some other people in my family are sick. So I think we just like have some stomach thing and, and maybe she has the stomach thing too. And that's why she was struggling so hard to go to sleep. I don't know. So I'm probably just going to lay here for, honestly, because um, when I first set her down, I actually cleaned up uh, a lot and, um, put laundry in the washing machine and, um, unpacked our Target packages, which was, like, basically just, like, household cleaning stuff and stuff like that. Um, and so I put that stuff away. And so I did do some stuff. <laughs> Normally when she takes her nap is when I, like, take time to, like, get some stuff done around the house but I just feel so bad that I'm probably just gonna lay here. And yeah, that's basically all I was planning on sharing today. I mean, after her nap, like the rest of the day goes as you would expect. When my husband gets home, he does most of the lifting of her. Um, he'll take her up and down the stairs and stuff when he's home, um, just so I don't have to do extra lifting. And yeah, so that's basically all for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's helpful for anyone who might be in this situation. I really hope you're not in this situation, but if you are, then this is what we do and these are the things that I have been doing. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Yeah, that's all. Bye.